Someone recently told me that Christopher Nolan is Michael Bay for people who listen to Radiohead. That made me chuckle. I had a bit of a giggle about that. <laughs> Gave it the old like on the Facebooks and then I was like, what? Wait a minute. I should watch a Michael Bay movie. And then I've had a couple people mention this movie to me. Oh, Luke, if you've seen this, you should watch this movie. It's got, it, the start is awesome, the start is awesome, but the rest of the movie, yeah. And I was just thinking to myself, I should watch a Michael Bay film. And so here it is. I think the universe just wanted me to fucking watch this. Six Underground. So Six Underground is a 2019 action movie. It's, of course, directed by Michael Bay. Now, it's written by two men named Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese. Those are the two gentlemen who wrote the Deadpool and the Zombieland movies. And I quite like those. So, I saw Michael Bay, expectations low. I, uh, I clicked the wiki googles on the two writers, and then it raised my expectations a little bit. So we have uh, Ryan Reynolds in this, uh, Melanie Laurent... And uh, Corey Hawkins in this movie. I oh, was so happy to see Corey Hawkins. Uh, I'm a huge 24 fan. So, hey, it's good to see Corey Hawkins turn up. Of course, he was Dr. Dre in uh, what was the NWA movie. So, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a fan of his. So, awesome to see him come up and uh, turn up in something else. The gist of this is, have you seen Mission Impossible? Have you seen The A-Team? Have you seen Fast and Furious? Have you seen... Like, all those things, and did you ever think to yourself, what would happen if you just mashed them together into one gigantic, dumb, fun action movie? And this is it. This is... Alright, so the gist is, there's this guy named Number One, played by Ryan Reynolds, and he assembles this team. They've all got numbers, no names. And they want to go out and right wrongs that the governments won't do anything about you know so they want to help stage a coup in this uh, in this country i can't remember the country and i'm not going to try to remember the country because i'll just fuck it up and this movie starts strong oh, man matt why can't most movies start like this like fucking mm, here we are we're in it this movie did a few things great at the start all right it got really fun Fast-paced action, whilst at the same time, you're getting to know the characters that uh, are on this high-octane car chase, which I really liked. Uh, it was a nice way to introduce the characters and all that kind of stuff. There are flashbacks in this movie, which is generally a pet peeve of mine, but they were so well done in this. I didn't mind so much. But what I was told is, all right, after the beginning, the rest of the movie just can't quite live up to that. I think it did. I think it lived up lived up to that beginning for me. I got invested in the characters, so the next hour or so, it's more about uh, the characters, uh, building them up, and then uh, going on with the, uh, the part, parts of the uh, next mission. And I found that to be really cool. Uh, I, liked, I liked everyone. Uh, everyone's kind of well-rounded, uh, funny, and the dialogue's great in this. Uh, not surprising, I have had a pretty good chuckle with the two Zombieland and uh, Deadpool movies, so the dialogue's good, the acting's fine, I really like that too. It's very ridiculous. And that's fine, you know it's going to be like that, it's a Michael Bay movie. And you go into a Michael Bay movie, set your expectations low, and tune your brain off, you know, tune it off, turn it off, and go along for the ride. So you know what to expect. And it doesn't try to be too clever. Whereas a recent movie I watched, uh, <clears throat> Tenet, uh, told me at the start of the movie, uh, don't think about this too much. Mm -hmm. Then it tried to be overly clever with what it was doing. And I like this movie more. There, I said it. Uh, it's more fun. Like... You actually get behind and actually like the characters. So that's, that's one one thing that this movie does. The other one doesn't. And yeah, 
was kind of predictable in some places, but in others it wasn't. It was just a really good fun ride. Uh, can you hear that? Someone's still gardening. And I want to do this review now. If you want professionalism, I'm sure there's heaps of other review people you can go to. If you don't want professionalism, just some idiot telling you what he thought of a movie that's a year old. With the soundtrack of lawn mowing. Oh. Oh, I don't even need to pay copyright fees. Fucking sweet. Uh, I I don't know what else to say. Look, there's one thing that really annoyed me, which is what I was really going to mention earlier, and that is ooh, some of those sponsorships are like right up in your face, like right at the start. Red Bull, later on, Sprite, you know, all this kind of stuff that's kind of stuck out. But it never really detracted from the movie. Eh, it's fine. A lot of big budgety kind of movies do shit like that all the time because you got to have ads, ads fucking everywhere, don't you? But I, I, I can't believe it. I just, I just had a great time. It was never boring. This is two hours and eight minutes, and it was never boring. I was glued to my seat. I laughed out loud a few times. Action was exciting. And I want it more. So bring it on. I'll take a seven underground. This is a fucking Netflix movie, by the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Give me a seven underground. Uh, do a recast if you have to and do a six underground TV series. Fucking hell. Uh, I, I, I want more. If you can make if we li can live in a universe. Where we get a fucking Fast and Furious movie, like, every couple years. What is it there now? 30 of them? And we can at least get a second one of these. Uh, I like those movies too, by the way. I just like big, dumb action movies. Have you seen some of the shit I've reviewed over here? I just love that shit. And I don't need to sit here and go, hmm. Don't need my mind blown. No. I don't want my mind blown. I just want to have fun sometimes and... And this is it. I'm giving this a seven. Yeah, I'm giving it a Michael Bay movie, a motherfucking seven. He earned it. It was a really fun ride. A lot of people say it won't get, won't, it doesn't get as good as it does at the start. I disagree. Once you get behind the characters and then the movie progresses, you want to see them succeed. You want to, you want to see what they do now, and the stakes are kind of raised. And I liked it. Now, uh, if we're going to put our thinky hats on. Then, yeah, well, it's, it's, mm, whatever. But it's a Michael Bay movie, and I don't need my thinky hat. I need my fun hat. Sometimes they're the same hat. This time, it was just a fun hat. Give me a like, dislike, share, and subscribe. All of that stuff. Stick the thing on the thing. Oh, well. Netflix movie. Put this son of a bitch in the Netflix corner. It could be a sparkling gem surrounded by turds.